In April 1982, a Canterbury side boasting three Mortimer and two Hughes brothers, plus George Paponis, travelled to Leichhardt to take on Frank Stanton's Tigers. Gary Jack at fullback and Wayne Pearce at lock were yet to play their first tests, but the day was soon coming. It was a trialless first half, but an 11-2 penalty count to Canterbury allowed them to mount most of the early pressure. But I take it beautifully. It's to the blind side. Graham Hughes puts in a short one, well fielded. An exciting prospect, this young fellow. And Robinson Known in this era as the entertainers, it was common for the Bulldogs to produce this type Gary of play Hughes. where 11 pairs of hands touch leather. Gary Hughes making the most of it. A lovely pass there to Peter Mortimer. Steve Mortimer. Canterbury exhilarating play now. Graham Hughes, that's Chris Mortimer. And Coveney. Grendel and Graham Hughes, Steve Mortimer, Chris Mortimer, Peter Mortimer. That's what rugby league is all about. Brilliant play by Canterbury. An injury to George Paponis signalled a reversal Pierce. in the scrum count. Balmain won them 11-4 in the second half, allowing them finally Jack. to put points on the board. Surely someone must break this deadlock soon, and for the moment Balmain have got the upper hand. Bridge. Wigan a long way back, he's got it, here's an overlap, and going for the line, it's going to be a superb try to John Davidson. Greg Brentnell was the test fullback. Well, he wouldn't have enjoyed the result of this dropout. His opposite number turned it into a match Not winner. Recall the many gallant performances put up by the Balmain side, and they're starting to show the old Tiger spirit of you as Gary Jack's gone straight through, a diving tackle, and he's over to score, is he? and Steve Fakes almost got him, very nearly had him. The grip came loose, and Gary Jack, despite the presence of Brentnell, was able to score. Frank Stanton started to breathe a little easier. 6-0 was enough to get Balmain home in a tight but entertaining match. That seals it now for the Tigers.